Hey everybody, it's Rachel here, and as you can see, I'm in my bed with my sleeping mask and my little domo stuffed animal because uh, today's Keys to Success video on HCG is about sleep and why sleep is important. And, um, you know, not why it's just important just to, to dieting, but in general, because it's good to know, because sleep is good for you. I've learned a lot of interesting things, and I'm really excited to share with you guys, except for, I'm going to take this off, because I feel like I look a little ridiculous, but it's okay, it's like you're, it's like you're sitting in bed next to me, and we're chit-chatting. Don't take that the wrong way, I'm not trying to be uh, fresh or anything. <laughs> Alright, so I have some notes, of course, because I always have to have notes, and um, get right into it. So, I mean, sleep is important for so many reasons. There's so many things about sleep that are so good for you. You know, number one, probably it's, you know, it's the time that your body takes to, to heal itself. And, you know, from whatever stresses of the day, when you sleep, your body is, it's doing its work on getting back to where it needs to be. So that's the big number one thing. Um, sleep, keeps your heart healthy. Um, let's see what this says. Um, heart attacks and strokes are more common in the early hours in the morning um, because of the way that sleep interacts with your blood vessels. Um, so if you don't get enough sleep and your, your blood vessels get worse, that increases your risk of heart-related um, injury like stroke or heart attack which is not good. Um, sleep, they have seen, may also help to prevent cancer um, because people that work late hours show higher risks for developing um, breast and colon cancer. And um, researchers think that this there's a link between um, differing levels of melatonin in people who are exposed to light at night. So that's why they suggest uh, sleeping in the dark, like really dark. Um, of course, you know that getting plenty of sleep helps to reduce stress. And if you're stressed, you know, you don't sleep good. And if you're stressed, it makes you want to eat crazy. And um, it's just not good for anything. It's not good for life. It's especially not good for if you're on a diet. So don't be stressed out. Get some sleep and don't be stressed. Um, sleep can also reduce inflammation. It can help boost your memory. Um, of course, it makes you more alert because if you're well rested and energized, you feel alert and you're engaged and active. And um, it, it actually it's like a kind of like a cycle thing because if you feel good that day and you're engaging and stuff and you you know and you're active, it gives you a get a better chance. I was gonna say gooder chance. <laughs> gives you a better chance of getting a, a good night's sleep for the next night too, which is awesome. Um, da -da 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 um, most importantly, how sleep can affect your weight loss. Um, researchers, that's a very general word because, you know, I guess a lot of different research this, have found that people who sleep less then six hours a night are more likely to be overweight and obese. Um, and they they think this, and I thought this is what was interesting, because I didn't know about this, but there's actually two hormones that your body produces um, that affect fat metabolism, metabolism in your body. One is called leptin, L-E-P-T-I-N. One is called ghrelin. I think is how you say it. It's spelled G-H-R-E-L-I-N. And uh, like I said, these affect your fat metabolism. Um, leptin actually is the hormone that signals your brain that you're full and that you're satisfied. And ghrelin is the hormone that tells your brain that you're hungry and that you need to eat. And, um, you know, when these hormones become resistant to cues from your brain um, due to dietary abuse or lack of sleep, um, your fat won't be released efficiently 
and um, it's going to remain stored as excess fat on your body, which is not what we want when we're on a diet. Um, in a study, I read about a study that they did where they um, intentionally subjected these people to, I think it was less than seven hours, I don't think it said for sure how long it was, but it was less than seven hours of sleep a night, and their leptin levels dropped, which are the ones that, you know, that said that, oh, you know, I'm full and I feel good, and their ghrelin levels rose, which um, led to a an increased urge for them to overeat, which is interesting. Um, let's see, what else? Um, oh, um, I read that on average, adults need um, seven to nine hours of sleep at night, per night. Um, there's not an exact number, it's kind of like every person is different and you just have to figure it out for yourself. Um, I read somewhere that to do that you can, um, like, the best place to do it is if you're like on a vacation or something, and you just let your body sleep for, a, you know, just for however long it wants to, for, your, for a few days it'll kind of stabilize itself and you'll start to wake up the same amount of time and then like that's how much sleep your body needs. So it's a good way to figure that out. But if you're not sure and you don't have that kind of time, just, you know, eight hours is always a good number. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, when you don't get enough sleep and your body doesn't have enough time to produce the energy that it needs, um, you're more inclined to want to eat things um, with more carbs in it because your body wants to um, use the carbs to make up for the energy that it didn't make, you know, while you were sleeping, to have enough energy to get through the day. So, if you ever don't get enough sleep and you're wondering, like, why am I craving all these things that are terrible for me, it's because your body doesn't have enough energy, and it needs energy. Um, another interesting thing is, I'm, I'm sure everybody's heard about what's called REM sleep and that is that REM stands for rapid eye movement and that is um, what's considered like deep sleep that's the sleep that you're in whenever you're um, having dreams when you're dreaming you're in REM sleep which is good um, I think they s I read somewhere that you are in REM sleep like the last third of the night like early in the morning um, and so if you don't go to sleep until late, you lessen your time to be in REM sleep. And um, there was this article that I found which was really interesting because um, they had a study where they had people that slept for seven hours and people that just like laid in bed and didn't do anything for seven hours. So essentially, they were doing the same thing. They were inactive, just laying in bed, except for one of the groups was asleep and one of them was awake. And the people that were asleep lost more weight because um, even though your body is asleep and your metabolism, your you know your body's metabolism slows down um, during REM sleep, your brain's metabolic functions increases by um, like 2% and so you're actually you're continuing to burn calories in your brain how cool is that I thought it was really cool and really interesting um, oh just kidding um, it says that the brain only comprises 2% of the body's weight but it's responsible for 20% of the body's total energy com consumption um, you spend 25% of your sleeping time in REM sleep, um, and it just says that the brain's metabolic rate is very high, and um, even higher than when you're awake, which is weird, I guess, because, you know, having dreams and being in REM sleep requires a lot of energy, which is cool. Um, and even though your body temperature drops while you sleep, during REM sleep, your body temperature increases again, and um, and that can also lead to caloric expenditure, like causing you to burn off more calories. And um, I thought it was funny they had somebody that referred to it as um, 
it was like a furnace switching on and off during the night. And um, one the doctor that I read suggested that, you know, your weight loss can triple during REM sleep. So not only is it important for you to be getting sleep, but it's important to be getting like deep sleep where you're having dreams and stuff. So I hope that this video has helped you realize how important sleep is to you and your body and to your diet because um, it's, you know, it's like combined with, you know, like a healthy eating and a healthy lifestyle, getting enough sleep at night would be like the best thing ever and it would help you lose all this weight. So you guys snuggle up with your favorite little stuffed animal, sleep with the, I don't know what I did with my your sleeping mask if you need to. Turn off all your lights and make sure you get enough sleep at night because it's really good for you. And um, like I said, I hope you guys learned something from this video. I'll keep doing them. Um, if you guys have ideas for something that you want to see, let me know. Um, and maybe I'll take a nap now since I'm already laying in my bed. Just kidding. I'm not going to take a nap. I have too much stuff to do. Um, but I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Comment below. Let me know.